almost fell off. We're going with somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. She's talking shit about me because we was about to fall in the water and I can't swim and this water looks so Shereen, stop shaking in the boat. Like you wanna make us tilt over with your big ass. So long story short, we had to get we had to get um towed because this one can't be a team player and she's annoying, so so now we're moving faster with an instructor. His name is Mitch. Hello. You're hiking. It's crazy. I wonder if you guys can hear me through my water phone case. But towards the end, we started um, paddling on our own. It went well. But sometimes people, you can't work with certain people. The nail is coming off. I'm so mad. It was like a bad fall. <laughs> it wasn't a bad fall because my knees and everything else is fine. I was good until my finger hit a rock and the nail came off. So it's really bloody and it's bad. But other than that, we just got in the water. We're getting bit up. I have probably bites all over my legs and my arms. So they're swinging into this lake. We're not doing it because we have wigs on, of course. It's just not happening. That's where they're swinging at with that step stool and the rope right there. And they all swung in. Some went through there, we went through there to like just get our legs wet to stop the mosquitoes from touching us. That's about it. Haunted. 
was buried in that smaller cave. Kai Kane, his name literally means ocean man. Kai means ocean, Kane means man. He was the original water man. He spent his life traveling back and forth between the Polynesian Islands and the Hawaiian Islands. He brought the very first settlers here to the Hawaiian Islands over a thousand years ago, traveling with nothing but the stars. Now he died of old age on land, and the elite, many of whom he brought here himself, wanted to give him a special burial. Now they didn't quite give him a royal burial, true royal burial, a lee burial. You find a cliff like this one that's facing the ocean. A servant or a warrior chosen at th for this honor at birth takes the prepared bones of the elite wrapped in top of cloth up to the very top of the cliff, gets lowered down on a rope, finds the perfect cave or cavern to hide the bones, puts them in there, tombs them away, covers them up so nobody can ever discover their whereabouts. Then he cuts his rope and leaps to his death in ritualized suicide. The Hawaiians believed all the power of the village was held within the mana of the elites. They had to take extra care of those bones to protect the elite and, and his afterlife. Now, um, Kai Kani, not being an elite, nobody was sacrificed during his funeral. And they found this cliff facing land instead of the ocean. What they did do, they somehow managed to get one of his traveling canoes. You know, those things could be 60, 70 feet long, 30 feet wide. They disassembled one of those, lowered it down the side of the cliff, put it inside that cave wrapped his body in top of cloth, and laid it inside one of those canoes. Legend says, at the end of the ceremony, the kahuna in charge of the prayer reaches into the muddy banks. He grabs some mud. He starts kneading that mud in his hands. You can see the mud start to steam. It started to turn red. He reaches back. He throws it as hard as he can. As that mud leaves his fingertips, it turns into red, hot, molten lava, crashes into that cliff face. Melting away the figure of a Kauai warrior to oversee and protect the final resting spot of Kai Kane. Wow. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. very cool. That was a cool story. like 11 a.m. here I've been woke up um I actually did like an outfit change I'll put some pictures here Um, it's a lot of kids out. It was raining earlier when I first wanted to come to the pool. Like a quick rain shower and then like probably 10-15 minutes later it said that it wasn't raining anymore. So I looked outside and it was sunny. So that's what we're doing right now. It's sunny outside. So I am sitting underneath an umbrella and I'm about to drink a little something. It is my birthday today. And I decided that I was going to relax this morning before um, me and my sister go out to go and eat for our birthday, like have a dinner or whatever, somewhere nice on the island. Um, this is our entire birthday trip. This is a gift to ourselves. So, and, you know, going shopping for this trip was a gift to ourselves. So it doesn't really matter what we do today it's our birthday yeah but we're enjoying it in paradise so we're fine with that um i don't know i, I might seem kind of off because you know like when you get a lot of happy birthdays and you're getting it from people that you know care about you a lot but you're not getting it from like one person no matter what like if things end out good or bad like it should just be something automatic because it's just out of common courtesy you get what i'm saying but, you know, some people just don't have the same loyalty as everybody, you know what I'm saying? And I guess I'm thinking about that today, but when I shouldn't be, and that's fine. It just goes to show you like which people just don't deserve to be in your life. So, 
but it's fine. Um, I'm gonna sit here by the pool. I'm gonna write a little bit and work on my book. It's already written. I'm gonna edit a little bit and work on it because that's the one thing I wanted to do on this vacation. I wanted to actually relax and get the time to get away to do things that I don't have the time to do when I'm at home. So I'm gonna do that. Um, my little buddy is filled. So that's that. Um, I have a lot of mosquito bites from yesterday on my legs. Like it's really bad. I'm itching them right now as we speak. But it's a nice day. It's a beautiful, wonderful day. And it is my birthday. And I guess I'll come back to you guys later when I'm dressed up again. Oh yeah, I lost a nail. It's really nasty, really nasty. I lost it from hiking yesterday. I fell in a ditch in the water. So yeah, it looks bad. It looks really bad. I had to take the nail off. I pulled the nail off and everything. Like that's when I realized it was broken underneath like this. You guys can't really see it, but that's that. And um, I guess I'll see you guys later when we get ready to go out to eat for our birthday dinner. Later, guys. Guys, it's dark right now because we're outside. I haven't recorded all day, but we did go out to eat. We had a great time. The food was great. And we chilled out a little bit in the room. It's just so relaxing at this point. And right now we're on our way to the gym um, that the resort has. Because, you know, you can't just be on vacation and not follow the lifestyle. I like to work out anyways. And I noticed that since I've been here, my body's just been on point. So, yeah. We're at the gym and we're gonna go work out. Why does this door not open it? Oh, it's locked. Oh. So we're here. Why is it? Where is it? Oh, it's censored. I didn't bring my handstand for you guys, but you guys don't need to see me work out, anyways. This is um, our second to last day um yesterday was our birthday so this is the next day this is the fifth it's june 5th today and we have ventured out further into hawaii and we're going to country kitchen restaurant to go and eat how are you guys feeling the braid it's kind of messy right now but it's supposed to be a messy um crown braid and this is my little hawaiian outfit and it's my sister we parked over there in the dark parking lot but there was so much to see it's just i was looking at my um gps and yeah so now we're about to go eat thanks so we're here at this little restaurant my sister of course she knew what she was talking about but it's really not what she thought she was talking about so i'm gonna show you guys the menu as i look with it so it's really like a diner, breakfast, lunch, brunch, basically. And I'm not feeling it because I wanted real food. So I'm hungry and I'm upset. And we're just gonna go to another place on this strip. So we made it to like somewhat of the strip. As you guys can see, all the stores down there, go sit down a block. This is like a little town area. I don't know where the hell we at, but I wanna try, see how that place looks. I guess we'll see other stuff too. So we're gonna cross cross. welcome back to my channel or whatever no funny it's like days later and i'm finally telling you guys welcome to my channel but it's whatever I have not switched any of these videos over to my laptop to edit i'm going to edit it it's going to be one big video i have mad different pieces and there's probably not a lot for you guys to see because most of the time i'm either driving or it's like you know like when you're on vacation you just want to enjoy yourself that's really what it was um throughout this vacation i lost one nail my my pinky is crooked guys i was born this way i was born this way this one is more crooked than this one but it looks better when i have a nail like nobody would ever notice i could show you guys pictures and stuff if i ever get the chance of how my pinky was always like this but i see it as normal it's normal to me where to you guys but it's normal to me 
I have long hands. My hands is all crazy. I'm double jointed, all of that. Bend my thumbs back. Whatever. Anywho, um, we're in the room. I'm about to get ready to go to the pool. This is our last, our last official day of relaxation in Hawaii. Tomorrow is, of course, our last day. Like we have to um pack and we have to get ready to go to the airport and stuff like that. But we have until like our flight is at 10 p.m. Check out. Sense. I think I'm losing track because I'm looking outside. Outside is beautiful. We have a terrace, so. <laughs> But, um, yeah, we was going to get the rental, have our stuff in the car, of course, and um, do our last minute sightseeing. We haven't really sightseed today. We just sightseed like a little strip for food or whatever. Tomorrow's like real sightseeing. We're going to go to this place called the Canyon. There's a lot of places that a lot of um, normal people, like a lot of normies in this area told us to go to because, you know, people are so nice here. They They start talking to you out of nowhere and give you suggestions and things like that, so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow and before we go to the um airport and then we're gonna knock out another 10 hours going back home i'm just so ready to go home like you guys understand it's paradise it's fun it's exciting but you get homesick after a while is it just me like i get i don't like when you go on vacation you don't want to spend vacation there forever that's why i see like a whole bunch of people who share their stories too that are here that live here and they they explain to us that they moved here like at a later point in their life and that they regret living here because honestly this place is like family oriented and it's just like we're on an island where it's more more family oriented maybe Honolulu Hawaii is better like Hawaii is the big island and then there's the little islands after it it's all Hawaii but it's Hawaii Hawaii then it's light Lahawe Hawaii no not Lahawe I'm sorry it's um Kauai Hawaii Maui Hawaii and there's other islands too I forget the rest of the names so we're on Kauai Hawaii yeah that's where we are but we're in Lahawe in Kauai if that makes sense it's one of the cities in on this island so um yeah, there's a lot of people who I feel like they move their get up and move their life to a paradise place that's only meant to be a vacation. And they forget that, you know, there's real life out there. I never, ever want to move somewhere because it's relaxing and peaceful all day, every day. I'm with the hustle and bustle. Like, I'm used to New York. I've been raised there, born there, all of that. So it's just like to move somewhere just because it's peaceful and quiet. I don't want that. Like, I want to go on vacation, yes, to get away from the hustle and bustle. But I, I crave... I crave the go-getter mentality, but to get up and move and spend my whole life here, I wouldn't do that to my children. I wouldn't do that to my husband. I, I wouldn't want to settle for that kind of life. And I, uh, it makes me understand more and more why people from the Caribbean come up to um, either New York or the United States, period, but mostly New York, because they want more for, they, for themselves. Even when I went to Barbados, it's like you could tell people like this is that's it for them a relaxing life where everything is easy and everybody has land everybody has the same thing you know what I'm saying so it's like I I know I, I wouldn't know the feeling but I would understand the the other people who who tell themselves this is not it this is not all I want I want more and though people say oh the United States is not the land of opportunity it's hard to live there so, the United States is the land of opportunity. Like you, you make you become something here. You're not the, you're not the exception. Where it's just like you know Rihanna, she auditioned for Jay Z and then got her whole life from Barbados, whatever. There's only but so many exceptions, and it's just I understand basically, I understand. So right now I'm gonna get ready for the, for the beach. Why I said the beach? I'm gonna get ready for the pool. So. Let me show you guys outfit of the day. This is the fit. So this is it. Yeah, that's it. Or whatever. Get ready. I'm going to go to the pool. And that's it, guys. See you guys either later or tomorrow for the last day. And this is the end of the Hawaii vlog. Um, it's not the end, but it's coming to an end. And I just want to get you guys ready. Okay? outside by the pool um i'm just relaxing i'm about to start like editing 
this YouTube video and I'm about to like continue editing my book. It's been like, I've been sitting on this book for years, those of you guys who really know about it and it's not something I'm proud of. So like, I need to really take it seriously and have it done by this year so it could be published by this year. And I really wanted to get it out because it's a whole different side of me, a whole different project about me that I take really seriously that people really don't, wouldn't even guess. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna relax in the sun a little bit. And that's it for today's vlog. We might go get food later, um, like some KFC or something, but that's about it. I guess we are, cause I want KFC, I'm hungry. I'm gonna get hungry. I wanted fruit, but this fruit stand close by to our resort was closed. So that's that.